Hey guys. Oh man, it's hard to for me over here. It's all I heard in the last episode. I unlocked the chain. Okay. So, uh, it probably was in the supercut, but I filled my thing with dog salads, which are given to you, uh, using dog, dog, using dog residues, and they do a random amount of HP re- replenishment. Yeah. So, I don't know how much I'm getting. It's like one HP. <laughs> oh. Could you imagine? Oh. I can. Oh, continuation. Uh, then, one day, the human, human became, became very Ill. Ill. Oh. The sick human had only one request. To see the to flowers. To say the N-word. Wow. <laughs> see the flowers from their village, but there was nothing we could do. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, what happened? Oh. I did it. It's okay. I fixed it. <laughs> The next day, the, the next, next day, day, the, the human, human died. died. Oh. Azriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Okay. This is a uh, real good backstory here. Washua! Azrael <laughs> reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But... Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human. Azrael smiled and walked away. Oh. Oh, man, oh, man. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. This is, uh... The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. Oh. The king... Go ahead. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. Oh boy. It's not long now. King, King Asgore, Asgore will, will let us go. go. Give King us Asgore hope. will give us hope. King Asgore, King Asgore will save us all. Damn. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? <laughs> Frog it. You're going to be free. Oh, let's go down. Oh, that was the way. <laughs> What's this elevator go to? Oh. <laughs> Great. Well, wow, okay. Uh, safe. Last corridor. Just do it. We've made it this far. This seems familiar. Familiar? Yeah. What do you mean? Did we do a section with, like, oh, Chill is not playing the song. <laughs> Great, breaking the tension. Did we do a section in the beginning of the game with trees and, and shadows? I don't remember. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good foreshadowing. Oh, I hear a bell. That's good to be Ailey Shade Lamp. <laughs> so you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then, now, 
you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for your every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. Oh. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. Oh. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to, if you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. Ugh. What'll you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. <laughs> but you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Oh, oh boy. Oh, no. Uh, Spike Lee is uh, producing this game uh, <laughs> it's called Do the Right Thing <laughs> I'm gonna go this way yeah cause I bet the door upwards is the throne room I can only imagine what's down here it's the throne room <laughs> it's the throne room we oh what is this it's a coffin there's a name engraved on it Guy Lay. It's empty. Why don't you check the others? I can't. Really? So, those are the bodies of the other humans then. And this is made specifically for me. Looks like it. I guess they really want to make it to the surface, don't they? I... I guess so. This is way bigger than us. Oh. Today was nice. You do it. Dum -de -dum. Oh, there's someone there. Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. <laughs> Here we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Well, we just had some. We did. We had, we did. That's uh, true. It's it's fine. We're 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 <laughs> we're sated for the minute. Yeah, we're fine. Don't worry Thank about you. Us. Thank you, though. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. I want to play catch. Me too. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. I don't know if I want to. I want to stay in the underground forever. Do you? Kinda. You know, I've been thinking. Mm hmm. We've been doing the pacifist route, right? Mm hmm. And, like, we've been making sure not to kill anybody. Yeah. Like, if we, if we become friends with everybody, 
If they have six human souls, that means they killed six humans. Yeah. Us being nice to them doesn't absolve them from what they've done. I guess it doesn't. But who are we to judge them, right? A human. But... One of the people that they've been killing. Are we a human? Look. Are we? Yes. Is our soul human? Yes. Does our soul belong to us? Yes. I don't know. Let's 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 go into the next room. Okay, I think we're gonna do that next time. Next time. Uh, yeah, we're gonna press stop here. Cause uh, this is, like you said, it's bigger than us. It's as bigger than us. We're gonna we're gonna do it dirty. <laughs> <laughs>